Hello, I'm Dinis Guarda and um, I'm an author and writer about the topics of uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain and the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, today I want to talk a bit about one topic that is a new book coming, that is how business and governments can prosper with fintech, blockchain and AI. Um, this is a topic that I think it's very important for various reasons. Uh, the first of all is that we, have, we are in a unique time in history that uh, the, all the areas of technology that are coming with the fourth industrial revolution are creating a huge uh, issue that it, we can call it a tsunami in terms of a lot of waves. And these waves, if are in a good way, we can surf it. But if it's in a very wild way, it can actually create a massive disruption for uh, human, humanity. So one of the things I've been researching, and is actually the title of another book of mine, um, that is the next tsunami and uh, how blockchain, AI and crypto economics are changing the way um, we behave and the way we act and the, why I would like to call the attention of everyone about this. First of all, there's a lot of myths and uh, a lot of uh, misconceptions around the topic of blockchain because when people think about blockchain, they think about um, cryptocurrencies, they think about uh, trading and speculating on ICOs and stuff like that. But blockchain technology, in the end of the day, is a technology of identity. It's a technology that talks about, um, not that talks, but that creates solutions to create identity for data, distributing the data, and at the same time, creating identity for the data that is uh, in a way that cannot be manipulated or cannot be, um, in some ways, created around fake um, standards, like we have right now a lot of issues with fake news. When you put blockchain and artificial intelligence together, we have a very powerful thing. So in blockchain, we have all the areas of distributed ledgers that are distributing data in, in nodes around the world and solutions. But when it comes to the way we can use blockchain, we can use it, for instance, for registration of land property. We can use it for healthcare registrations. We can use it for property registration. We can use it for a lot of things that can actually save us a lot of um, issues. And one major issue with the world economy is that the world economy is mostly paper. 80% of the world economy, or some studies say 90%, is still paper. If we put the paper digital, what happens is that we can have better data. We can improve the perception of data. We can improve the perception of information about our countries, about our societies, about our cities, about our universities. And with this data, we can actually optimize information and we can optimize the performance. Of course, this is beautiful in theory. The practice is very difficult. That's why I create Studium and Blocks DNA, a technology that tries to answer to the idea of creating a software that can be used in a very simple way uh, for creating registrations and to create like a, a WeChat or a WhatsApp on blockchain and at the same time offering a marketplace and um, a reward engine and a wallet. So the idea of these technologies is that if we use it correctly, we can actually create a lot of solutions for the problems that we have, especially around transparency, sustainability and uh, counterfeiting and a lot of other things that exist in different industries. So. Coming back to the idea of blockchain and AI, and there is my paramount thesis in my books, is that when you put blockchain, specifically the smart contract technology, we can find solutions for identity, we can find solutions to improve the way we look at data, which is a bit of machine learning. At the same time, therefore, with this data that becomes immutable and can be used in a good way, we can start using it to distribute it through machine learning programs and then improving these records and different track records. Of course, I'm talking about a lot of different things, but to put it in a simple way, as a citizen and as an entrepreneur and as well as a thought leader and a teacher, one of the things that are critical for me is that we need to take this serious. We need to learn about these technologies and we need to start looking at it because if we don't look at it, what happens is that we're going to have all the disruption around us that uh, a lot of the science fiction movies are talking. And if you look at from Sapiens, um, specifically his book, Sapiens, is particularly interesting because if you look at the history of mankind, the humanity has been a lot of different mutations. Um, but normally this takes 10, 20,000 years or more. And these mutations are focused on the evolution of our symbiotic and organic matter. But at the moment, 
uh, we are with these technologies, we are starting to use this to improve our bodies and our performance. And this is where the blockchain technology and AI have a major issue is that if this took thousands of years to execute, the next five to 10 years, we're going to have similar revolutions that took probably 10,000 years to operate especially when we put the data of ma uh, machine learning and the data of the distributed ledgers in, for instance, healthcare registration. That means you can improve and optimize the performance of our bodies, but you can create a lot of other issues and a lot of monsters, which is what science fiction has been talking is about. So to finish, and uh, I will be doing a series of books and a series of talks about this, is the idea is governments and business have to be particularly conscious about this and starting to learn and educate themselves to come up with the solutions for their business in particular. And of course, not everyone is looking at these holistic topics, but looking at solutions that can help in the short term. And as well, to finish, the point is that if you don't look at this, we have right now a process of ongoing autom automation and the robotization of society that is going to create the biggest disruption of history of mankind. For instance, uh, to paraphrase, uh, um, the likes of the CEO of Google and other um, personalities, this revolution is as impactful as the electricity was before for mankind and the fire. So we need to be conscious about this and we need to look at blockchain, AI and fourth industrial revolution as tools for us to improve, not things for us to let just some kind of experts and institutions, especially big Silicon Valley players and Chinese players to let us do but to use it for us.